Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Later on in today's show, we're actually going to be touching on human trafficking. January is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. This is the third largest crime in the world and the fastest growing, so it is definitely a problem right here in our country. I'll also be talking with singer-songwriter Sally Foster. But first, now Key West, as you may or may not be aware, has such a rich literary history, unique in all the world. This island has been home to some of the greatest writers in the past 100 years. Tennessee Williams, Elizabeth Bishop, Ernest Hemingway, and that is just to name a few. To celebrate this rich history, each year Key West hosts a literary seminar. This is actually beginning tonight. This is something you don't want to miss out on. It has even been called the crown jewel of Key West society. Arlo, thank you so much for being here with me. Thanks for having me on the show, Jenna. All right, Arlo. Now, how long have you been involved with the Literary Seminar? Uh, well, I've been uh, working with the Literary Seminar for the past six years now, but actually that's a funny story because when I was growing up, I grew up here in Key West, and uh, my mother worked with the Literary Seminar when I was a kid, so I sort of grew up with the organization and, okay. uh, and remember running around in the office as a, as a youngster. So. Oh, that's neat. A long time, but, but professionally for the last six years. Okay, so you know just how important this is for our community here in the Keys. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, for me, Key West is a, is a place where, as you've said, where great writers have spent their time, and, and our focus as an organization is to make sure that that uh, really continues into the future, and that it's not just a history of writers, but a living tradition and an active culture of writing and reading. Mm -hmm. And this is the 31st year? 31st, yes. Wow, and I know it's getting bigger and better each year. Arlo, it is beginning tonight, so explain to our viewers who aren't mm -hmm. familiar what all you do at the Literary Seminar? Sure, so the Literary Seminar, it, it, it takes place each year. We look at a different literary topic um, from year to year. We've, we've looked at science fiction, we've looked at science writing, at um, children's literature, writing about food, the short story. We, we move it around from year to year. And this year's topic is Writers on Writers, mm -hmm. um, which means that we'll be exploring writers' lives uh, through biography, through fiction, and even through poetry. Uh, with a program of lectures and readings and panel discussions. This takes place over the course of four days, starting tonight with the keynote address by Phyllis Rose at the San Carlos Institute. And it continues uh, throughout the weekend, all day tomorrow, all day Saturday, and then on Sunday. And then finally, Sunday afternoon, uh, we present a program that's free and open to the public. The, the bulk of the, the seminar, you, you pay to register and you attend the whole weekend. Um, this first session, this weekend, is, is actually full. Next weekend is open. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but the, the Sunday program is open, and we uh, encourage everyone, uh, locals in Key West and visitors who may be in Key West this weekend, to, to come out and see us on Sunday. That's at 2 o'clock at the San Carlos Institute. Wonderful. So if any viewers have an interest in writing, becoming a writer, an author, this is definitely something that they want to attend. Now, Arlo, since you've been involved in this for a while, what would you say is some of the response that you get from the writers who attend this? The writers, the writers love it. The, I mean, that's that's the the, uh, the quiet secret to our success is that while we're in Key West and it's January, and a lot of writers, a lot of the best writers live in in uh, you know in New York City where the weather is is not so great this time of year. So people, the writers just love to come down and love mm -hmm. to be part of our event. You know, we we it's a it's a fun event. It's not um, you know it's not a dry academic conference. It's really. Um, it really focuses on the, on the human side of it and, and getting to talk with the writers and going to parties and receptions and there's a lot of really fun stuff that goes on with it. So the writers love coming down, the audience who comes has a, really a unique opportunity to meet these writers one-on-one. -on -one. Um, again, it's not a big academic conference so you're sitting in a hall and you're seeing them talk and that's it. It's, mm -hmm. it's these amazing exchanges on stage plus you're at a party and you're rubbing shoulders literally with uh, you know, Billy Collins, the former U.S. Poet Laureate or another great writer, and you're getting a chance to, to meet one-on-one, -on -one, and that's really, that's really the kind of secret of our success. Wonderful. Now, you've mentioned some of the writers who are going to be there. Do you have a personal favorite? I'm a huge fan of Jeff Dyer, who uh, just, just got in uh, earlier this morning and, and will, be, will be with us this weekend and next weekend. He has written about, um, he, he's written a, a great book about D.H. Lawrence, which uh, Steve Martin, the comedian, called the funniest book I've ever read. So if Steve Martin says that about your book, I think you've done, you've done pretty well. And it's true, it's a, <laughs> it's a hilarious and really smart take on D.H. Lawrence's life. Um, and, 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 and his way of, of writing about 
anything is sort of that he's turning the lens back on himself and writing about himself. So he's a great, he's a great person to have in this topic of, of looking at writers' lives. He's a great writer. He's inspired by other great writers. Mm -hmm. um, he's a favorite. Okay. And again, you said that this week is full, but next week you do have some openings. Next weekend, yeah, there's still time to register for next weekend, which starts a week from tonight. Um, mm -hmm. You can register on our website, which I believe is on the screen, mm -hmm. or you can stop by the San Carlos this weekend and, and register at the front desk. Um, next weekend, you can, you can register for the whole thing, or you can pick individual sessions. And, and that you'll have to do in person at the San Carlos, but you can sign up for a half day or a partial day. Mm -hmm. um, the schedule is on the website. It's also in a book we produce each year, which is uh, available at the Key West Public Library. So stop by there and ask one of the librarians for a copy of this book. It has our schedule. It has information about the writers. It has great artwork by some photographers and printmakers we work with, mm -hmm. and uh, essays by the writers that are coming. It's really, it's really a great package. Wonderful. Don't miss out on this very educational and exciting seminar. Arlo, thank you for being on with me this Thanks morning. very much, Jen. It was a pleasure. I'm going to take a quick break right now. When I return, I'll be talking about the Truman Little White House. Stay with me.